Hi, everybody, and welcome to Teaching Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. If you're like most instructors here at UWSP, you're busy beyond belief keeping up with the day-to-day -day duties of teaching, scholarship, and service that are required of your position. You organize what you're doing in your classrooms around the teaching technologies that you already know, because who has time to explore all of the possible technologies that you might be using? To help you out, I thought that this term, rather than delving into course design and pedagogy, I should feature some of the different technologies that are available to you that you might use in your teaching. I'm going to begin today with some of the underutilized features of PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is the presentation software that's most widely used on our campus as a visual accompaniment to lectures. The program has grown in size and complexity since the early days when it first replaced 2x2 two two slides in a carousel. It has a number of underutilized features that you may wish to explore as you search for ways to make your presentations more engaging or accessible. Today I'll introduce you to add-ins, live captioning, and cameos. Add-ins are software plugins that give PowerPoint additional features. You can find them in the Insert tab of the PowerPoint ribbon. Today, I'll give a specific shout out to Pixton Animated Characters, Pixels Stock Images, Break Time, which is a countdown timer, the Emoji Keyboard, which can add levity to your presentations, and to FET Simulations, which include math and physical science simulations. Keep in mind, though, that there are many more add-ins available. Now for a quick demo. Here's the ribbon in PowerPoint. We're in the Insert tab. There's a quick link to Get Add-ins, and you can see there are a number of different add-ins that are available, sorted by various categories. Once you've added a plugin, you can access it from the My Add-ins tab. Many add-ins are available directly from your ribbon. For example, Pixton animated characters are accessible in the Ribbon on the Home tab. To use the Pixton characters, just choose a style and click on it to insert it into your slide. Pexel stock images and the emoji keyboard are available in the ribbon on the Insert tab. Although Pexels is set to choose images from the Creative Commons, remember to follow appropriate attribution rules. Adding emojis with the emoji keyboard is a simple affair. Just click on them and they'll appear on your slide. To use a countdown timer, access the Break Time plugin in the My Add-ins tab of the Insert ribbon. FET simulations are also available through the My Add-ins tab. As you can see, there are many interactive sims available through this plugin. While add-ins may help you to liven up your lectures and engage students, live captioning can increase accessibility. Live captioning generates live captions or subtitles during a presentation. The controls for this are located in the Slideshow tab on the ribbon or in the lower corner of your screen in presentation mode, as we see here. These are engaged when you're in presentation mode. As you can see, I have enabled the captioning at this time. Although the captions are visible to audience members during a live lecture, keep in mind that there's often a delay in the projection of the captions as you're speaking. Finally, let's touch on cameos. This feature allows you to insert a live camera feed into your PowerPoint. Controls are located in the Insert tab, and the cameo is engaged when you're in the presentation mode. Because cameos can fill the entire screen, they're a good alternative to the corner box image of an instructor that appears during recording of a lecture in PowerPoint. They're especially useful in live lectures where demonstrations of things like mouth shape or facial expressions are required. I've inserted a screen capture of a Cameo transition that I used in a live presentation, but you'll note that there's no sound, even though I've got subtitles on. That's because this technology works well in live projection, but because of camera competition and capture rates, it's really clunky in both Zoom and PowerPoint recordings, so I wasn't able to capture the audio. And there you have some underutilized features in PowerPoint. Remember that add-ins, live captions, and cameos may allow you to increase student engagement and lecture accessibility. 
That's this week's teaching tip brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Remember that at Siddle we offer support for course design, learning activities, assessment, and pedagogy. Visit our website to schedule a consultation today.